super excited because it's been like a week since I've made a video for you guys. I've just been really busy with work recently so I want to just pump these videos out. I have so many new <laughs> videos to show you guys and to make for you guys so just stay tuned for this week. I'm gonna have a lot of new stuff in. Um, I'm really really excited so let's get into this hair review. I'm gonna be reviewing this wig from Elva Wigs. I bought hair from them um, the first time and they ended up sending this one for free. Um, I had a really good experience with them and the hair video did really well because you guys loved it and you guys also bought some of the hair um, which they were really thankful for. Um, I'm really glad that I was able to kind of just promote a hair company that I trust and that worked well for me. So I hope that you guys also enjoy this hair if you want to purchase this one as well. If you guys want to see the other wig review that I did for this company, I'll also put the link down below. This hair I had to also bleach the knots. I want to put a bleaching knots tutorial in here for you guys because I feel like it's necessary when it comes to buying hair that does not have bleach knots. This does sound crazy to people that do wear wigs often and are wig experts I guess, especially on YouTube. They're probably going to kill me but I've never really bleached my own knots before. I've had had a wig where the knots were bleached and I did see the difference but now that I bleached these knots you can't see anything. It looks very transparent so all you pretty much see is my scalp. Um, I basically guys I have no leave out with this wig whatsoever. These are all just the baby hairs that I've gelled down uh, myself and basically after bleaching these knots you can't see the actual lace unless you go like super 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 close up to my scalp which no one's really going to end up doing anyway so it makes no sense. Yeah I'm going to put like a clip in there to show you guys how I did it and then I'll basically talk about the hair and stuff like that after I do that with you guys. Okay so let's move on to the bleaching tutorial. Now this is before I went ahead and bleached the lace. You can see all the black dots in between. It looks really unnatural. I'm adding bleach. Um, I'm going to have my mixing bowl, some 40 volume developer. Um, I'm using a plastic bag because I don't have any gloves in this video so I'm sorry about that. I'm about to mix both of them together in the mixing bowl and until it's kind of at like a creamy consistency to go ahead and put on the lace. Be careful, wear gloves. I wasn't wearing gloves in this video for most of it, so um, don't be like me. And you pretty much make sure that it covers all the lace. You don't have to. If your parting space is like one area that you want to cover, go ahead and just do that one. But I went ahead and did the whole thing. Um, after that, just wait around like 30 minutes and it should be done. For the other wig review that I did, it was a straight hair texture and this one has a nice body wave to it. I kind of like this hair better because it feels like the body wave is more natural and it's a lot softer than the other one was, even though the other one was extremely soft like on its own. But this one just has like a nice, just like even texture to it, which I love. Um, so I got a 24 inch and I decided to get 150 density. So right now I have half the hair up pretty much and then half of it down. So like there's a lot of hair up here and then I put the rest of it down. I kind of curled um, everything else. And I also decided to do some baby hairs. I kind of plucked a little bit of it. I didn't pluck too much. The hair already came like very natural for the hairline. And I also asked for a middle part as well. So there is a middle part in here because I usually wear a middle part. And the company was really fast with getting back to me, you guys. Even like the first time I got the wig as a customer, not as like a sponsored video, um, it was really fast and easy to get this hair. Um, we had really good communication with the service. So you guys won't have an issue with um, contacting this company at all. It straightens and it curls really easily. And the curls do last. Um, I literally just curled this hair like super quickly for this video, so the curls aren't the best right now, but it does take curls very easily. It's not a full lace wig, this is just a lace front wig, you guys, so don't get carried away. I know that the lace, that the full lace is about 200. If you guys have a small cap size um, like me, then just go ahead and get the small and you should be fine and you should be like ready to go with that. Um, if you do get a size too big, which is the average slash medium size, you can still do the elastic band method and still have it fit your head. So for shipping, it is around five to eight days and it is true to what it says. I ended up receiving the wig within four to five days. I think AliExpress usually is good with that from my experiences with all the other companies that I've used. And it comes with free lashes, which I'm gonna be honest, I don't really care for these too, too much. It also comes with a wig cap. I use it as like a hairnet, I guess. 
Personally, I like to wear the uh, wig caps that have like a nice like tan color to it just because it matches my scalp color. I don't really do the black caps anymore, but if you have your uh, not to bleach, you shouldn't really have that issue anymore. I do love the texture, I do love how it's holding up after washing it like three times and after like um, styling it and putting heat to it. The curl pattern kind of bounces right back to how it's supposed to be. Kind of like reaches me about... It's below my chest and that's because I'm not that tall either. So I'm like 5'3 and it's 24 inches. So it kind of actually goes to my waist. So it's not too bad. If it's like all the way completely straight, it goes to my waist. So as far as the shredding goes, I haven't experienced a lot of shredding with this wig. It doesn't come out. Um, I can just run my fingers through it and it's fine. It's, I like it. It's really nice. And um, again, this is not the straight, this is a body wave. So if you guys want the straight wig, I'll put the other link in my other video um, down below. And so you guys can go purchase that one instead of this one if you prefer straight hair or not. Um, next time I might try like a curly style. So you guys just let me know about that, and um, yeah, stay tuned for more vlogs, you guys, from Korea and Japan, coming up really, really soon, and yeah. Bye, guys. <coughs> this was your idea. <gasps> yeah, it's not a quotable either. Bye. <laughs> All right, guys, what's up? It's me, Team, and I'm back with a new hey, video. Hey, it's me, Kevin. Whoa, what's up? I always do this with my intro. I'm excited to be here. <laughs> <laughs>